Hi, and thanks for joining me in my market report. My name is Mike, and this market report is about mortgage rates. We can't go into what impacts uh, mortgage rates on a daily basis, whether it's economic reports or some headline news in general. And we can't let you know if they're going up or down or going sideways. We kind of stay away from the rate quotes primarily because there's too many variables that kind of go into quoting a rate as well as different loan programs. So that would that would really almost double the size of this uh, video. So this video is really meant for uh, just giving a synopsis for the day, what's going on, starting off more or less in the morning, and uh, and then obviously the market could uh, shift from there as well. But uh, at least give you an idea of what's going on in the morning. Uh, about mid-morning in terms of what's going on with the mortgage rates and uh, hopefully this will help. If you guys got questions about mortgage rates, uh, please feel free to uh, contact me. Uh, I am a loan officer. I do work with a national lender. So if you need that rate quote, we can certainly help you with that. We can help you out with your pre-approvals as well as your refinances. So please feel free to reach, contact us anytime. So we'll start without further ado. Uh, we'll start with the economic report for today and the jobless claims we get every Thursday. We'll start off so this is for this week. Last week we had initially came out 412,000. However, that got revised higher to 418,000. And forecast was calling for a dip under 400,000 at 380, and it came in higher, a little hotter at 411,000. So we only lost about 7,000 people. However, but if you look at these um, continued claims, the good news is that well, the revision went a little bit higher, but the good news is that we dropped. Uh, a little over 100,000 people off the continued claims, which is even a better as, uh, aspect that we're, more people are getting off the uh, benefits here. Uh, we also got durable goods. Uh, these are items basically uh, manufactured goods that are, you know, like three years or last three years or greater and p things like washing machines. And this had uh, month of April is pretty bad. It showed a drop of 1.3%. However, that was revised a little bit better uh, at 0.8% drop. And forecast come for 2.8, and it came at 2.3 percent. Now, if you look at this, because that revision is really not that bad, you're talking about half a point here, and that's the difference between the forecast and what we got for actuality. So, overall, actually, not a bad um, move here. Uh, not bad here. Uh, GDP remained the same. So, the first quarter remained at 6.4 percent. So, we had no change over that. Next month, we'll start getting a glimpse of what happened in the second quarter. We'll have to see, wait and see, uh, probably around end of July, uh, to see those numbers. Let's jump ahead to the headline news. Stocks are up. Uh, stocks are up primarily because we kept, even though we had a mixed bag of uh, data here, uh, there's an announcement of infrastructure deal. There may sounds like there is a bipartisan support of an infrastructure deal, uh, approximately about one billion dollars. Uh, new spending is just over half a billion dollars uh, being introduced to it. So uh, that's kind of helping the markets a little bit. We've got NASDAQ and S&P continuing in highs, Dow's even up. Uh, and then we also got a few Fed speakers today. So, of course, um, unless they go off of what they've been saying, uh, we shouldn't see any market changes or any change in the uh, market uh, from them. Let's see how this is affecting mortgage rates today. And right now we're up about six basis points. Not quite enough. Uh, you know, we're getting small increments here, so we're not getting a whole lot. We usually need about 12 basis points uh, to see an improvement in our mortgage rates when we haven't had that much uh, improvement. Even though we're steadily going up here, uh, basically, like yesterday, I think we only closed up maybe one or two basis points. And then we've got eight, six basis points so far today. Uh, it's not quite enough to give us that boost uh, upwards. Uh, to give us a better pricing. So really, mortgage rates remain unchanged is what that means. Uh, you look at yields, yields uh, have come down a little bit. Uh, we were up around 1.49, but did pull back a little bit down to 1.48. Uh, again, uh, putting less pressure on mortgage rates. Again, we've been kind of seeing this sideways pattern here. Same thing around here. We've been kind of in this semi-range here, even though we got some, we've had a few days where it's been big swings, but for the most part, been kind of in that range uh, there as well. So, again, uh, mortgage rates unchanged today. Uh, doesn't really seem like we had any really big um, items that's going to really move the markets uh, this week. Next week, we'll get the jobs report. So, that's something that could be uh, trigger a, um, uh, a bigger response or more of a catalyst for movement here. But, however, so far today, or this maybe even this week, uh, we don't have anything that's moving the markets as much. 
All right, folks, uh, if you guys like these videos, please uh, smash that like button. It certainly helps us out here. We greatly appreciate it, and we greatly appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thank you so much, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.